Now, school teachers also have to be prepared to answer the questions that come from students after something like what happened yesterday in California. 7 Eyewitness News reporter Rachel Elzebon went to two schools today to see how educators handle questions from students of all ages. It's always the why. That's one of the biggest ones. Why did they do that? That's the number one question from children after a mass shooting. The answer is very sensitive, especially for teachers of elementary school students. So they're going to take everything in that you say, and you don't, you don't want to give them too much, and you don't want to say something that's not correct. Third grade teacher Derek Mears says most teachers of young students do not bring up tragic news events themselves, but will talk about them if kids feel the need to. In times like this, reminding them about, you know, the people in their lives that can help keep them safe. For younger children, experts say at home it's also important to walk that fine line. Don't shelter them from what's going on in the world, but also make sure you watch exactly what and how much you say around them. But in high school, students are more aware, especially with social media. Teachers say that means it's more important to talk to students, whether you're an educator or a parent. If they talk about it, then they can get like a better comprehension of it and understanding of it. These students tell us they regularly ask teachers about massacres like yesterday's shooting in San Bernardino. They usually like know more about it and can like help us like think different. Their biggest concern, could it happen here? You're asking if it's ISIS, if it's the terrorist, or if it's just, uh, you know, the lone wolf shooter. I tell them that there are bad people out there. There's a lot of bad people in the world, but for every one bad person, there's a thousand good people. And out of these questions and conversations comes this glimmer of hope, why students say their talks with teachers and each other are important. We could change that as the new and up and coming age, we could change that. In Buffalo, Rachel Alzafon 7, Eyewitness News.